According to court records, Felicia Johnson and the man now charged with her murder, they agreed to meet up on Snapchat, and he was supposed to pay her $500. That's according to court records. Well, she hasn't been seen since, and tonight there is a warning for the thousands of Houstonians who work in the sex industry. Anybody can become a victim of a villain. That's the first point Precinct 1 Human Trafficking Victim Services Director Catherine Griffin wants to drive home. Let the murder of 24-year-old Felicia Johnson be a learning lesson and don't think it can't happen to you. It is so dangerous and every media outlet should be screaming from the rooftops on how dangerous this is and let stories like this be known. Chuku Eduka Uwabado is now charged with murdering and dismembering Felicia Johnson after investigators say her blood was found in his apartment. Court documents show she was last seen April 16th, leaving her hotel in an Uber paid for by Uwabado. On April 17th, investigators say he bought a handheld and a power saw, towels and trash bags, and according to court records, even as Uwabado searched the internet for things like, can bleach destroy DNA, and the most forested part of Houston. He also Googled Houston escorts. And then Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about an update to the Felicia Marie Johnson story. I had covered this story a month ago where this young lady went missing. She's been missing from April the 15th. So today I'm making this video. It's the 14th but tomorrow when I post it, it will be on the 15th. So it'll be two months since they have not yet located her body and it's actually going to be a recovery whenever they do locate the body because allegedly the police have information that shows that she's no longer with us but an update has come out the fact that they through their investigation they have found this i believe i believe he's african i'm not sure which country in africa but he's african i'm not going to pronounce his name but through their investigative techniques they found out that as you heard in the news story also that they were talking on snapchat he was talking to felicia on snapchat and he would they were supposed to meet together so that he can give her 500 dollars. i don't know if 500 dollars was just to spend time with him to have sex with him whatever it may be but the fee he was going to give her 500 dollars and unfortunately i don't even know she even got the 500 dollars. but unfortunately he took her out and now he is m.i.a well he's no long he's no longer here he's probably if he's not in africa already but he's definitely not in houston you can believe that he's definitely not in houston hopefully they do catch him so that he faces the consequences of what he did to this young lady because even though you know she decided to go and be with him and to meet up with him but that did not des she did not deserve to lose her life life this way but this is also a warning to other young ladies this can happen to you don't think it because sometimes we think things like this won't happen to us can't happen to us Oh, because we'll be ready we always put scenarios in our minds but some things you never know what you will do what you are able to do and that, until you get in a situation in some situation why would i want to be in that because you may think oh if he does anything he's a scorny little dude i can take him out oh i got tasers i got this i got that oh i got crystals on me sometimes your crystals can do nothing oh i got an orisha oh on me she's gonna protect me no sweetie mm -mm. no some stuff you don't put yourself in that position Period. And unfortunately, this tw she was 24 years old. And as we know, this fast money, fast lifestyle, use, use, your, use your assets to get what you want from men. You have women on this internet showing you guys how to get whatever you want from a man, what to say, how to act, and to get um, whatever you want from a man. And... They may do it, nothing happened to them, but you may you may end up doing it and then you lose your life. You may end up being your life changed forever because the person put hands on you or the person take 
uh, uh, um, sleep with you against your will. And a lot of influencers, a lot of people on this internet, you have a lot of blood of your, on your hands because you're teaching women how to do these things. And some of these women are going exactly on what you said. When you come on the internet and you are what are you doing commentary or you're telling people something, you put yourself in a position of a teacher because you're teaching people different things. And as the Bible say, teachers will be under stricter judgment. Under, under stricter judgment because people are listening to what you're saying and they're actually applying some people will be quick to listen to a stranger than people who are next to them that know them. So this is why you have to be careful what you say to people, what you teach to people. You have to be careful where you are speaking from. Are you speaking, if you're speaking from a place of pain and anger and frustration, bitterness, unforgiveness, where are you speaking from? Because that's going to affect other people. And it may affect people, other people in a negative way. And those consequences are going to come back. So you don't think you're going to be come off scot-free. Because yes, you do make money. you got all kind of buys. you got everything you can eat. Whatever you want. Go wherever you want. But your money will never bring fruit to you. Because you have blood on your hands. You have blood on your hands. Because people have done, applied what you have said and they have lost their lives they have their their lives have changed dramatically so the money that you're making you will never see fruit in it ever you will ever see fruit i don't care how much you make you can make ten thousand dollars a month you can make a a hundred thousand dollars a month you can make a million two million dollars a year you won't see the fruit because you're leading people astray you're leading people astray and we are, we are, all of us play a part in this because sometimes these women that are, you know, showing this fast lifestyle, using their bodies and t their assets to get whatever they want, they cause men to fall and they cause women to fall. Because they use, they, they, they doing all kind of lasciviousness. And then we go right there, we give them the views, we give them the likes. And then those are the people who your kids are going to listen to. Your young daughters will listen to. Your nieces are, are, are going to listen. They, that's who they're going to see promoted and see in front of them. And we have this young lady. Lord, only God knows if they're ever going to find her body. Because this, this, this man allegedly bought things that can, you know, put you to pieces. And nobody want to hear the truth. Everybody, wanna, oh, tell me sweet stuff. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Because I was listening to a video that Pink Book Lessons was doing about a particular TikToker that was telling women how to use, you know, trickery, whatever, to get whatever she wants. And she had said a statement. And I, even if somebody in the comments had said, you know, they was with her until they said she was... She, until she said what she said even i was like that's a bit harsh that's harsh but then when you look at it when i look at my life there are changes that i've made there are precautions that i have taken is because somebody came to me and spoke to me and said uh -uh, and didn't talk to me nice they told me the truth whether i like it told me the truth raw whether i liked it or not and those were the things that made me uh, um, keep me on my toes those were the things that brought change in my life things that's gonna help you don't feel good it don't make you feel good sometimes you wanna you wanna be angry you wanna fight against it but after when you sit down you process it and you help and you uh, whether you ask god to help you to process to help you to understand or you reach out to the person to help you to understand then you see that it was good for that person to talk. So in some cases, in rare occasions, somebody could talk to you nice or whatever, and it brings change. But multiple occasions, look when you have children, for you to do when you want them to do certain things. Sometimes you have to you have to uh, uh, um, tell them you know well, you're not going to get this. I'm going to take away this from you if you don't do. Sometimes that's what makes the person change. But people want to be talked to nice. 
they don't want to be held accountable don't tell me don't tell me nothing just tell me what i could do to get whatever i want but i don't need to don't tell me nothing else because i don't need to hear the consequences because it's not going to happen to me because i i walk with orishas and i got my crystals in my in my bosom ain't nothing gonna happen to me now we see safely when is this madness gonna stop every five and a half hours and it's probably lower now this keeps on happening because we have people on the internet talking foolishness anyway that's all I have to say on this tragic situation I would say I send my condolences to her family because no matter how how the person lived they had somebody that loved them they had somebody that, they had somebody that had a group of people that loved and cared for them and now it's like you never gonna be able to get closure until maybe they found a found their body it was just the other day this young lady that disappeared year, nine years ago and then they recently found her body it's like that won't open back up again well the womb was never closed you know it was just covered and now you know you uncovered it and so they could really begin to heal because they just recently find her body nine years she she went missing somebody somebody took her life this is this is getting ridiculous because uh, i am um, i just don't know but you using your uh, um this fast life this fast money thing that you see being promoted look like these women are winning they don't win in the end because you because your body was not made to be used to get whatever you want it was made for your husband it was made for your husband some people you know some people got to get married twice and three times okay god bless you but it was made for your husband it was made to birth children and of course your body you know to take care of your body it's because it's the temple of the lord some people you know they don't believe in god but to take care of your body so you can live a long and healthy life it was not it was not created to use it to get whatever you want to make men and women fall to make men and women fall in uh, 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 in lust that's not what you were created for but unfortunately we don't know what we created for that's why we listen to every wind of doctrine that come our way we listen to it and we go and do whatever it wants and then sometimes we end up losing and losing big anyway that's all i had to say on the situation thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video bye